Hello, today we are going to study one of the most famous techniques in robotics. It is called the particle filter and it has many applications in robotics. It can be used for target tracking or exploration, but we will learn how to use it for localization. Okay, we are going to study the localization problem. Let's remember we have an environment with some landmarks that we will represent as trees in this case and we have a robot this robot has a location and an orientation that we will denote by x and we don't know the location and orientation of the robot that's the problem that we will try to solve however we have the map and also we can move the robot and we can sense the landmarks we can assume that the robot has a camera and it can detect the landmarks that are in front of it now in order to solve this problem we are going to use particles so we will guess by creating particles all the way around the environment where we think that the robot can be we will we will place many many particles and a particle is simply a simulation of the robot like the belief of a robot and in this case we will denote it by x but with the index m and we can place many particles in the environment just where we think that the robot is because we don't know where the robot is okay now let me give you an overview of the particle filter for the particle filter we start with an initial belief that we represent by a set of m particles since the when the robot moves and it applies the the control input u we will also move the particles based on the probabilistic model that we have of the motion of the robot then we will measure the environment we will try to detect uh, landmarks and for that our measurement zt uh, we will assign a, a weight to that measurement based on how good that measurement is and we will apply a probabilistic method that is called resampling that is basically selecting randomly um, selecting particles randomly based on the weight that we assign to the particle and this is an iterative process that we will um, execute multiple times and for each execution we can have a better estimation of the robot for this we need the robot to continue moving in the environment sensing the environment and then we will be updating the 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 belief so this is the goal and the overview of this presentation so now let's talk about particle motion in our previous video we talked that the robot can move and for that motion we have a model okay which is the probability function of the new location based on the previous location and the control input if we see for example for a particle and that represents a robot and it moves there are many options where the robot can go but we will have a model for that motion and then let's apply that for every particle based on the control input u because um, the belief in the previous time step was based on the was the particle itself so for each particle we will add a new particle or we will move that particle to the yellow one that just represents um, the, the particle after the motion okay so let's remove the the old particles 
And now let's try to sense. We can see that the robot has a field of view and it can detect a tree close to it. So now we have a sensing model, which is basically the location of the robot based on the measurement and the map that we have. So based on that model, we can assign a weight to each particle. So if the if in this case we'll say like if the particle is close to a tree, then we will has assign a high weight, and if it is far from the tree, we will assign a low weight, or if it doesn't see trees. And for example, I will represent the, the weight as a circle, and if the weight is higher, the circle will be higher. Like this is a they don't have a, a these particles don't have a tree in front of it but these two particles they have a tree in front of it so the weight can be higher and we will continue with this process assigning weights to all the particles after assigning the the weights we need to move to the next step that is resampling for that we will generate n random numbers and we have a scale or a range that goes from 0 to 1 and we will normalize all the weights and place them here for example for six particles we will place some weights over here and with the n numbers we will place the n number n random numbers and they they will be here so if the random number falls into the range of a weight uh, we will create a new particle with that the, the the associated particle to that weight okay so our new set of particles will be equals to two particles of x um, uh, two particles of um, number five and two partic one particle of number four that is this one two particles of number three and only one particle of number one so this is an our no set of particles we can see that depending on the weight uh, the the particle can be selected more often or it cannot be selected for example in this case these two particles were not selected but particles with high weight like three and five they were selected twice coming back to our example after doing the resampling we will have that some particles are not selected and some particles are repeated multiple times like three times, two times, three times no selected, twice and no selected, no selected and three times okay so we have a new belief of the state of the robot so now let's try to uh, recap the whole process we start when the robot moves and we will have the first part that is the particle motion we will start moving particles moving particles every particle will apply the motion model and then we will move to the sensing step where we will assign some weight to each particle for example these particles are very good but these particles don't see any tree we are we can do it based on the detection of this tree these particles don't see uh, oops, don't see any tree so their weights are very low uh, same for these three particles over here and this particle kind of see a tree okay 
so we will continue with the next step after assigning weights that is the resampling step where we will start to um, randomly generate uh, to clone the particles based on their weights and this is called importance sampling and we will see that many particles we died maybe one of them will survive or they have a low probability but they still can and like let's say that many more of them survive this one survives and since there are some particles that have more weight they will be cloned multiple times let's say that this one is five and this one is three five and three okay and now we will continue with the iterative process because now we can see that the particles start to converge to the real location of the robot and this whole process is the particle filter if we uh, many times detecting landmarks moving the particles what we will obtain is that the particles will start to conglomerate where the robot is and with the proper orientation so finally in summary we have the, an initial belief we have a motion based on the control input of the robot we have the um, uh, we have the um, sampling part where we assign weights depending on what we measure and we finally create an important sampling based on the weights of the samples this whole process is iterative and if you see the book mobile uh, probabilistic robotics you will have you will find this algorithm which is basically what i have been showing here we have a in a previous belief we have a sample motion model we have the measuring model and all this part over here is the resampling and with this we will improve and we can get a very good localization of the robot this is one of the most common techniques in robotics Thank you and see you in the next session.